Good afternoon guys, how are you? Hope you're all okay. Right, this is going to be a really quick video because I want to get on to the bench, get it started and uh, I've got another two videos I need to try and do today. Or one I think, I can't remember anyway. As you can see in front of you, this is a, a Tiger tank. Uh, it's Tiger 1, uh, it's the Tunisian initial and it's a Dragon kit. It's a smart kit, it's from the 501 division and it's from the 7 regiment and it's based in Tunisia from 1942 to 43. Um, it's kit number 6608 and it's in 135th scale. Um, now this is my official entry to Adam, Adams and Evans uh, group build the Tiger 75th anniversary. Now there is some debate whether or not I've, I, with myself, nobody else, whether or not I've missed the um, cutoff date and everything like that. Uh, I've spoken to Evan and he said he seems to think it's uh, the 31st of December. I've got till. Um, now I was going to change the kit uh, and do the uh, Tamiya Tiger One, the um, the first production of the Tiger One, the early production that they do, um, because um, as we all know, that is apparently the best Tiger kit Tamiya do. Um, and with it being Tamiya, it's near enough dead easy. It won't have as many parts as this one does with the amount of time. However, I've done the pictures and everything on YouTube, on uh, Facebook and everything, so I didn't really want to sort of go against what I said. So I'm going to stick with this, and I'm going to give it a good go. My JU88 uh, is going to just take a back shelf just for a week or so while I do this. Um, I've just got the rescribing to do with that and then obviously I can start doing all the painting and weathering and whatever else and it's done, thank God. However, that video is bound to buy that for another time. So yeah, this is my entry into Adam Manns and Panzermeister 36 Evans group build. So uh, just quickly, so you all know, I have taken everything out of the, um, pa the uh, packaging. But, as you'll see in a minute, I've done it so I can get everything ready and just so I can label the sprues up so they're all done, dusted. As you can see, everything is in there. There is the lower hull and the lower part of the turret. The tracks are still in the packaging, which are the DS tracks. So nothing has been started and we're all game to go. So that is my entry. Um, I'm going to be using, just so, so you can see, obviously Dragon Kits, only so many of them come with figures, so I'm going to be trying to take one or two figures out of, out of either that set, which is the Tamiya set, um, the new Wehrmacht tank crew set, I might use one or two out of there, I'm not decided yet, or him out of there, um, out of the Panzer II, um, as he's obviously the African version, or possibly this figure that I've already got made up um, from the Stug, Tamiya Stug, which is that guy there. So that is basically what I may do, um, just to add a bit of lifelike figure, you know, realism and uh, scale to the uh, model. Um, reference material I'm going to be using for this build is going to be this uh, Osprey book, which is absolutely brilliant. It really is. Um, it's so good. The pictures in it are incredible. Um, uh, the Tiger Fidel, which I didn't realise, is um, basically the, the, the Tiger crews used to have to used to have a manual. <laughs> um, uh, and then of course there's a timeline and everything like that and also Mike Cohen did a um, one of his recent dioramas uh, of a build, uh, I can't think what it is, uh, Lake, uh, I can't think now, sorry Mike, but however the picture that Mike worked off is actually here um, and it's uh, Lake something can't think what it is, but anyway, I know it's by Leningrad around there, but uh, there's the picture of that, but it's absolutely brilliant, brilliant. Um, but yeah, so, and then you've got, of course, the inside of the King Tiger 2, Ledoga, 
Ladoga, Lake Ladoga, sorry, that was it, wasn't it? Uh, Tiger One Tory. Anyway, that's that. I'm going to be using that one. Second one I'm going to be using is this Osprey uh, Tiger One Heavy Tank 42 to 45. Again, full of fantastic information. And then for diorama, possibly, or base uh, material, I'm going to be using this uh, Images of War book, which is incredible again. Uh, the pictures that you get in it are absolutely brilliant. In fact, there is a Tunisian tiger. Um, so yeah, you know, so you've got some great pictures that you can do to add battle damage on and all that. And the last one I'll be using in case I, I don't have enough there is this tiger. Although it's this uh, Sherman Firefly versus tiger, but it's Normandy forty four, so that isn't going to be historically correct, I suppose. However. There's going to be bits and bobs in there that's the same, roughly, as, uh, you know, the other books. But anyway, bye bye. So that's the uh, information, of course, possibly the odd bit on the internet. So, there we go, guys. That's my entry into Adam Mans and uh, Evan McCallum's uh, group build. Uh, hope you're well, hope you're safe, and may the force be with you guys.